How you doing, fight fans? How you doing, fight fans? DJ Boxer live here. We're gonna talk about the offer. Andy Josh, Andy Josh, Andy Yard has been offered. I don't know why I've got Yard. I need to change that. Actually. Andy Yard has been offered by um, Andy Serge Josh <laughs> by Sergey Kolev. Um, his name is Yard. Um, yeah, he's been offered four point two mil. Apparently, I've just listened to the boxing voice right now. This is called Tunzi, but he's probably busy. I'll probably get him out another day. And basically, he's not confirming or denying the money. But at the same time, I'm happy the fight has gone through. Now, let me try. I try and call him again, and actually, he might pick up. Actually, try and call him one more time. Let's pick up. If he doesn't pick up, he doesn't pick up. We'll just talk about it. I'm happy the fight's getting on our out. He last time we talked, yeah, he said he's going to be in hybrid, is it? In, um where Arsenal is. But this time um the fight's gonna be in Russia. And let's talk. I'll call him one more time. If he picks up fine, if he doesn't, all right. Hopefully a busy man. He's a busy guy, he's probably sleeping. Let me try Mr. Bashir. Mr. James Ali Bashir. Maybe he picks up. He's a busy man as well. Try and get someone on the phone here. Probably get one of these guys. I really want to talk to the woman from The Matrix, actually. The woman who made The Matrix. James Ali Bashir is not easy to get through, actually. The woman who made The Matrix. Um, see if, she, see, if, see if she's around. She might tell me to go to a publicist or something. Uh huh. Yeah, James, maybe she is not easy to get through. Who is that one from the Matrix? Yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, this one here. Call her, man. Talk about that. How are people doing? We're still going to talk about the anti-yard thing, but if that woman picks up the one from the matrix, that'd be good. Yeah, doesn't look like it. People are busy today. Looks like people are busy today. Oh, connecting, but it's taking its time. Oh, okay, we'll leave that. All right, let's this let's, let's break down. And he also, and he also gonna be fighting in Russia. Does anyone give him a chance to win in Russia? Um, he's, he's put his back against the wall. They're getting up a lot of money to go to Russia. His first title defense. I think you know a lot of people believe he can do it. You know, Sergey Kovalev wants home court advantage. It's listen. I think it's very good. You know, to go to Russia. This is the sort of thing that great fighters do. They they win their world title in another man's backyard. Um, it appears that there'll be a number one contender. And the yard is finally ready to take challenge to take the OB, uh, the OBO champion. So they call to agree terms to face him in Russia. Wow, they've agreed. So that's it. I'm really happy about that. I'm happy for for uh, Tundi. I'm happy for Andy Yard. They get their title shot. They get it where they want, and they're going to be fighting in Russia, man. That's very good. I mean. If you get a title shot, wherever you can, you just get, you prepare for it, you go where they're going to achieve. I think they can achieve. I think they can achieve it. I think Sergio Kulov is, is, what's this guy do? Hunting. Has now killing, where right, elephants and lions. This guy killing elephants and lions. This guy's crazy, man. How can you be proud of killing your yeah, animals exactly? Why would you kill elephants for, man? They don't harm no one. Or when lions. It's, it's, it's long. Anyway, um, Oh, there's some amateur boxing on now. Uh, I'm sidetracking. Anyway, let's go back to thing, yeah? Go back to Anthony Yard. So, anyone in the chat? Nah, yeah, I haven't really shared this around anyway. This is my, this is my thing's not loaded properly. Um, Anthony Yard, so far, does anyone think he's going to win? And if he's, if so, how so? Just do what he's been doing. He doesn't throw that many punches around. So, Anthony Coe is very busy. He's very active with that jab. Um, Buddy McGurk in his corner. I think they'll do pretty well. I think he'll do pretty well. I think he can pull it off. I, I actually believe in that yard. Um, he's maybe a believer. When I talked to Tunde, 
the last time he made me a believer. So I feel like he can achieve and, and uh, pull off the pull off the big upset and uh, bring bring the belt back to England, bring the World Championship back to England. It'll be very hard. Um, people talk about if it goes to cards that he hasn't got a chance, but we have to see. Um, yeah, as I said, I, I believe Tunde Tunde they're well prepared, they're ready for it, they talk it, they spoke it. And um, it's their big opportunity. Now, Yard has to go over there and grab it, man. Soon, you know what I'm saying? Sergio Kodov can hit, man. This, 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 there's no doubt about it, that guy. The guy can crack. He's a real punch. And even with his jab, it hurts. You know, steps in with his jab and he's real powerful. But as you've seen, Andre Ward, like, if you take away his jab, he's not the same fighter. So if you're going to try and beat him, that's what you need to do. You try to take away his jab. Uh, what will we say? Um, usually I've got other people I try and talk to actually at this point. Let me see what it is. So, I don't want this. Who's that? Someone messaged me. Alright, let me try adding some other people anyway on the group. My phone's buzzing off. It's been a slow day. And Maggie Johnson, Maggie Johnson's left the Lakers. Yeah. Not too happy about that. I'm not too happy about that at all. And I thought it was stick stick there. He brought LeBron James over, he brought all these pieces over, and now they're here. And now all of a sudden he's left the ship. It's like, yo, <laughs> yo, bro. It's just like, yo, you just can't leave. I understand how he feels, though. I've been in the situations myself where <laughs> I've been in situations, in situations myself where I feel like, you know, it's time to just vacate the premises, but. I stick around, man. You stick around and you, you fight. Go through the hard times and the, the, the thingy times, right? So you do. You go fight through them. Where's me? Uh... Are we in March? Where's this one? This one I don't know what's going on here. This one goes through. For some reason, uh, I'm trying to add people actually. Uh, and the yard where Sergio Kolev. What a fight. What a fight is that going to be? And Kathy Duva, it's not going to be easy, man. Actually, I've got a picture of that somewhere, actually, on my phone. Kathy Duva is not going to be easy. I'll tell you that for now. She just, she's, she's, no, I've just talked to Tundi. Tundi said, don't worry about Kathy Duva. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. You know, that's, that's, that's what they're on. You know, they believe that they can uh, secure and uh, dethrone Sergei Kodov. And be the number one in the division. The thing is, it's beating the champion is one thing. Holding on to the belt is a whole entire thing when you have all these other champions and they're going to say, when are you going to fight them? So if they if they was to win the championship, it's. Um, oh, it is Yardy, isn't it? They've got Yardy. For his name was Anthony Yard. They've got the E at the end, so I'm going to have to put the E. They have put E. Um, as I said, holding on to the belt is one thing. They're gonna have to work extremely hard yet to keep the belt after they after they after they secure it. Hundred percent. I wonder if my thing come off of January, March, April. I think it's April the twenty something. That December. When was it December? No, it was it January? I can't remember. I got a strike. I got a strike. Was it February? I can't remember. I think it's March or April or something like that. Anyway. Uh. Oh yeah, I was adding people, that's what I was doing. One sec. Where my people's at? Where's my people's at? People, people's. Yo, let me find my people's at. Add some people and get some of people's perspective on this. Jesse Sushi, I'm waiting to hear some stuff about sushi. I like that sushi woman, man. <laughs> she, she, she gets views, man. Man, I got a whole of Bulgaria. On. I got the whole of Bulgaria on my channel. <laughs> uh, oh, is that El Dude? I'm at El Dude. El Dude's crazy. Calling me a chicken. Chicken. This guy, man. It's El Dude. Dan the man. Now uh, the Wayne. Who else is that? Oh. Who is that? Uh, that's Fight Doctor. Kyle. I don't know why my thing it says unknown. You know, it's got unknown. For some reason, 
There you go. It's got it's got all my things as unknown. Like I don't know who these people are. I know everyone is. There you go. Add my people in. Ring, edge. We got no place zone. We got any more. Oof. What else is this? I don't know that is that PMC. Looks like it might be. Yeah. McGregor. Let me add these people in. Let's see what it is. Talk about yard. Saw, see if the wind jumps in. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Battle, I don't know what battle is, man. I see battle for a minute. I guess the yard, the yard thing is not really a big thing about the money and the and the yard facing because they call it. I swear on on, on these profiles is Andy Yard. He doesn't call the yard. They got the E at the end. I don't think he. Uh, I think they might have mis mis misspelled it. You know. Because I think he uh, even on his Twitter. Even on his Twitter, I think they've got yard. Let me see this on his Twitter. I swear they've got rid of the E. The I the E at the end. It's Andy Yard, man. No, nah, actually, it's got it. has got it, Mr. Andy Yard. Uh, I think he might have changed it to Andy Yard. So, yeah, Andy Yard, man. Mm hmm. Maybe it's a silent name. <laughs> but yeah, well, he wants a double B over. Let me see this. Let me see what I'm doing. A reef he wants to make. That guy is, you know, he's full for what I was. You know, he's, he's, he's put himself in that position before. So it's not like I was taking him lightly, but again, I'm still learning. Um, landing, landing the right shots, throwing shots at the right time, and throwing enough shots as well, not throwing reckless. But it's all coming together. I love this guy. I love him. Yeah. And we're going all the way. See, no one was interviewing him. <laughs> 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 I told you this guy had a camera. I'll just give you a preview of how much he had the camera. <laughs> Lions in the camp. Lions in the camp. Yeah, well, hey, listen, they've got the fight now, so let's get it on, man. Him and Sojo Kolo, yeah, they've agreed, and um, I'm so happy for Mr. Andy Yard, the beast, however you call it, man. It's, it's going to be fighting Sergio Kolo, so, like, Frank Warren secured it after a, quite a long time, so, I tell you, man, the crushers, shush, ain't no one trying to fight the crusher out here, bro. <laughs> Ain't no one trying to fight Sergio Cole. I'm not gonna lie to you, he's probably one of the most dangerous guys to fight. Because he's just he's rare, rare bone strong and he's busy. You know what? Is he one of, he's a very strong guy? Like he can be he's okay. Skills are not too much, but he's just he's enough of everything. He's got a bit of everything, Sergio Cole. It's dangerous. The only thing is what's left of him, he's been knocked out twice. And he's just won recently. Um, he outboxed beautifully, like. But yard, yard, for yard to win the fight, he's gonna have to take take Sergio Cole down in dungeons, bro. Down in the dungeons and punish him. That's that's you know that's that's what's going on. You know what I mean? That's what you gotta do to him. You have to pull him down and hurt him. Me or Bob Aaron talking about? It. Plans are to have the fight in Russia. Uh, Frank and Yardy, Frank Warren and Yardy have agreed the terms, uh, and we're getting an appropriate date uh, in June or July uh, for that fight. Uh, but everything is a go, and uh, an announcement will be made shortly. That is my understanding yet. I met with uh, uh, Kovalev's manager uh, today, 
uh, Igus Clemens, uh, and Igus told me that that Yardi had agreed to terms. There you go, man. That's it. That's right. Clearly go happy. That's it, man. And that's more or less where, where you're coming from. America before, a uh, couple of come. Let me do what you see. what you to say about Jared BC. It's agreed the terms and everything, man. June and July. Amazing. Um, listen. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Um, I believe in, in destiny. I believe 100% and I'm, strong, I'm a strong believer in God. And um, obviously, I don't believe that God just gives you things. I don't, I don't, feel, like, I don't feel like it works like that. Um, I don't feel like God just says, oh, I have this because you're a good person. Or I have this because you worked hard. I think it's like a package. You need to go out there, you need to work hard. Um, you need to be doing what you need to do. You need to be sacrificing. You need to be doing all sorts of things. So um, when I say I believe in God, I just, I just mean that I believe in the position that he's already put me in. Um, my mind frame, the mind that I have, that gives me the ability to go and push and do the hard work, block out the negativity. All them kind of things is part of my character, part of my, part of my personality. And I feel like after God characters everything. So are you willing to travel? <laughs> so I tried to do a flame maven and answer the question. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm still not answering the question. I'm trying to be smart about it. But um, if, if that's what it comes to, then that's what's going to happen. If the fight goes to purse bids, yeah. then you don't really have a say, right? That's that's fair to say? Um, again, I'm not a manager. Yeah, yeah. Happening, so that's what let me hear, let me hear a different pieces on Twitter, by the way. Experience, you know, what I'm saying, and he's a both left two season two experience, you know, what I'm saying, and he's a piece of shit, but he's still a damn good fighter. We can't can't deny that, can't take that from him. And um, I just don't agree with this. I think it's gonna end up bad. I think you know, Cole is gonna embarrass this young man, outclass him, and oh. stop him late. And this, I think it's gonna set yard back a couple of years. Possibly even three, really three years. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because now you have to build him back up. You got to build his confidence. You got to build him. Period. It's just not a good look. But y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, CB Sports TV. Shout to the LDBC. Make sure y'all tune into the Smoke City Mob. Oh, it's LDBC. Hey, that's his opinion, man. That's his opinion, man. I disagree, my friend. Disagree. You know what I'm saying? I disagree. I think y'all's got a very good chance for being it, man. Very good chance for being it. That's a good picture. I, I think I'll take that picture. And it's on, man. It's on. These are the things that make you great. Taking a guy, and will he get credit? 100%. He will get the credit he deserves if he wins the fight. 100%. And I give all the credit to Yard. I give all the credit for Yard finally stepping up and taking this challenge. Forget me. Whether I think he's not ready, that's nothing to do with it. That's, I'm, I'm happy that, that he's actually taking taking on the challenge like that you know and that's what it's about boxing is about challenging yourself and trying to better yourself and if you get the chance and you believe it then let's go for it you know whether he we don't think he's gonna get it or not is another thing oh big up we got finally got people in the call what's up yeah yo ej yards hey hey boxing what's going on man hey, what's going on big up man big up you guys man hey listen i'll put the link in the chat yo you guys can jump in if you want you know you guys you want guys want to jump in all of you guys there on the chat, you want to jump in? I hear your take. All six of y'all. Hold on one second, let me give you the link. So, rarity, you know, usually other get me, usually I, I'm not even bothered with it, but let's see, I want to hear you guys. There you go, the link's in the chat. You're welcome to jump in and, and give, give me your perspective. All newcomers are welcome. All right, so we've got so far. Y'all's best, best win is Skiff, Sick Cat, whatever his name is. Uh, Johnson, Sir so Cat Johnson, best win is Frank. Okay, yeah, you can go by wins, yeah. Another thanks, EJ, yeah, uh, for inviting me. I'm just uh, procrastinating at work. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's a good cool. wait. Another time in it when you're ready. Uh, Yardi was on boxing voice, yeah, yeah, he flamed the shit out of the trip. <laughs> hey, 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 he flamed the shit out of one of the hosts. That's what I actually called him. I called him there. When they pick up, I guess he doesn't want to pick up because he, he I'll tell you what, man. When he took but you know, Tundi's one of them guys there, like you talk to him so where he's gonna go off. The guy he felt like the guy was being rude to him, and it wasn't really him as Nez, in it. Like he's just 
you know, talk about money and stuff like that. You have to show respect in it, like. And I think Tunde, at this point, achieving what he's achieved, he doesn't feel like he's getting enough respect and enough pat on the back and stuff like that. But that's the way boxing is, man. You know what I mean? You pat yourself on the back. That's uh, that's the way it is, man. And this is one of them people, he's just on that Mayweather thing, how much money you get in. And if you get in it, you need to help me out. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is. Tunde is just putting the people straight. Even though we don't talk about money. It's through Alex Ferguson. I mean, he doesn't need to talk about money. He, all he cares about is achievement. And with achievements and hard work and dedication, you can you, you, you get results in it. Um, Floyd was one of them guys. Ali, Muhammad Ali never used to talk about money. But he used to, even when the money come, he would grab it quick and just run with it. But he never used to talk about money. He used to, in fact, he used to give money out all the time. Tyson did the same thing. He used to give money out to the poor, give money all the time. People don't look on that side of Mike Tyson when he, when he did. You know, when the media want to spin things and put you in a put you in a bad light, that's what they do. So that's why some uh, promoters like Frank Warren they buy, it. they have people inside the the new the Sun newspaper to to, to control and, and put a narrative out. Don King had people in the press and newspapers as well. So to, he actually has it the um, the Cleveland Post or whatever or the Cleveland thing. He had, he had his own newspaper where he writes and stuff like that where you can influence. And to be fair, that's good. If you the person who controls the news controls. The business controls the money. Uh, Eddie Hearn is doing that. Was used to doing that with Sky Sports, but I think he's been trumped, in my opinion, by Adam Smith and being forced to make the fight and being forced to 50-50 with Wilder. Um, whether he agrees with that, that's his business, but that's what's happened. Well, we've got a TV and Tunde, yeah. The Earth might as well be flat before I listen to those two together. <laughs> what Tunde said he is. He hasn't followed followed the uh, followed the through though. He's done everything he said. Yeah. He, oh yeah, he has done it. Wouldn't and go through his title shot. Tunde's um tune when Tunde people say this Tunde goes right. When they say right, he go left. I said Tunde go. My vibe is yours. Yeah. Tunde doesn't see see eye to eye on the fight. Yeah. And that's rank. And Aramar making his making it happen despite Tunde. Oh, you think so? Mm, that's a good point. I think Tunde gone. I think he's gone along with it, and and yeah, and Frank Warren is not going to be around like having Tunde take time of yard and all that stuff. I think he's had enough of that, man. He just was a thing. You look, I want to see if his, my kid's good enough. I want to put him in there, and he's Trump the manager. Like he's convinced him. Trump the man. The thing is, yeah, they could. The thing is, yeah, right. On the way up, you need they need tests to help get you ready. They, 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 like people say, boy, he was good when he gets a football champion and this, that, the other. But they didn't want to do that. So now you've been forced into the deep end. So either way, you can't just wait, beat all these bums and think you're not going to fight a big fight. So this is the whole point in boxing. You might as well fight a name. You worrying about losing and worry about undefeated as well. You listen. You, if you're going to lose, you're going to lose. But you know what I'm saying? Like that's the way boxing is. Can't can't stop things like dying, innit? You can die. We're all going to die. How are you going to die, right? You know what I'm saying? So Andy Yard is, is been, they're put in a place. Now they're a single school. If they lose that, like to be fair, it's just it's more praise on Kolev than it is on anything. You know, that's the way I see it. Just give Kolev all, all, all the praise. My god, my god, it's trace. Let me see any comments more on Twitter about Tunde. Lions in the cap. Quinn that phrase there, isn't it? That, that V. Mm. D from Stonebridge working on the bags here. Uh oh dear, oh dear. All right, what we got here? OT, what's OT saying? The black who lead in the read and roll and the scarlet Johansson. Is he? Marvel Black Widow Sneak. Okay. Congratulations, OT. It's nice, he's got a role in Marvel. Next superhero. Stay on the right course, and you never know in society how or where all people you talk to or lead to, you know, society people you know and touch and feel they can achieve things, anything. Never know what people can achieve in school and and whatever in life and stuff like that. So it's, it's the world is uh, small, you know. But everyone has a road to lead, and Yard is there following their destiny, you know. Their destiny is to the championship. Oh, what happened to that little guy? Shame. All right, let me see what's in the chat still. Before we call it a day. All right, what have we got here? Yeah, uh, if Yard wins, yeah, who, who would he defend against? Exactly, that's a good point. 
those WWE titles and WWE titles holders are too much clout. <laughs> too much clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yard, who would you defend? Uh, listen, let's go to the rankings, man, rather than the speculate. Yeah, just speculate. WWE title. Let's go. WWE title. Yard. Alrighty. Where's WWE rankings? Yeah, W rankings. Where you at? Oh, there you go. W rankings. All right, light heavyweight. Light heavyweight is one of the best divisions in boxing. Yes, in my opinion. Okay, okay. W rankings. And the is number one. Bosnia. Who's this guy? They got a whole heap of Polish guys. Alejandro Alvarez. Barrera, Sullivan Barrera. See, these, these guys are not no joke, man. Oh, Joshua Poitsi's there. See, look, Joshua Poitsi. Y'all look at Yard all the way in number one. Bro, if I was Yard here, if he beat Sergio Kolev, first in, just defends against Joshua Poitsi. How about that, Apples? What do you think, peoples? How about that? Wouldn't you like to see that? Wouldn't you like to see that, that he defends the belt against another British guy for the Dolby for the Dolby title? They're like, but they're telling to turn them say, well, why do we need to fight him for? What's he done? Um, but it's a good title. Yeah, what's this girl saying? I think so. So, regardless who's the next guy that's come called Bosnia, some guy called Bosnia, Bozel. He's he's like only lost one, and another guy from Poland. I don't know him either. I don't know. Okay, we should make sure you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, where we at? Yeah, so I know you guys want to fight, but I want him to fight Joshua Boatsy. In fact, I, I, I might see Joshua Boatsy on Friday actually. Uh, what have we got here? Good on yard. Yeah, if he goes through with this, yeah, he's definitely looked like he's going through with it. As an American, I don't know much about the, the man, but Hatman beats and UK seem elated by the news. Yeah, yeah, they're happy. Are they? I don't know. I have a list of Hatman or beats. But yeah, it's, it's uh, he commended. Particularly, he took a challenge. You're always going to get commended if you take a challenge and step up. And that's what it's about in life as well. It's failure. If you go, if you, if he, 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 he who dares wins. Yeah, just winning in the daring, you win. Because you're conquering your fears and, and, and stuff like that. Regardless of how other people feel and stuff like that. And that's the thing about people. They love to put burdens and stuff on other people. But, you know, you know, just follow your goal. You know, you make a goal, you follow things and you've got to run things, you know. You, you have to run things, you know. People know your worth by you just doing your thing and just sticking down. And, and if, if you're in a job you don't feel like it's, it's, it's worth your while being there, then change. I mean, change and find something else is what well, well worth your your uh, time and pleasure. Because we're all getting old, and we only got a certain amount of time on this earth, or a certain amount of time we can be awake on this earth. So why spend it in a place where it's uncomfortable or doesn't serve you to make it be there? So it's easy, easier said than done. But while while you're there, you look for something else. It's a massive jump for him. Yeah, it is there there to be great. Yeah, he tends to be great. Yes, right. But he'll he'll uh, well over pit. I know oh, oh, at bookings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yard is a big, big brand over there too. Mm. He, if he wins the title, would be bigger. I don't know if he's a big brand. AJ ain't nothing trumping AJ over here, mate. AJ's like Hulk Hogan, mate. Wrestling, he's the man, bro. <laughs> but Yard will break into that. The second guy I used to think was big was Chris Chris Eubank Jr. He was big. He looked like it was going to be big anyway. But for some reason, he didn't, he didn't achieve his goal. You know how it is if, if you if you talk all that shit and you don't achieve it, it's a, people don't believe in you. Like Yard, um, not Yard, Eubank Jr. When he when he failed the second time, yeah, I believed him. The second time, I thought I had excuses, but after a while, it's hard for me to just jump on that bag wagon to just follow him. But I, I still like watching him. But the glow, unfortunately, is gone. Maybe he'll be can we become a world champion, but. I don't know what Yard, it's the same with Yard, man. He's got the people watching, he's got the people's ears. We have to say, Ubeck's still bigger than Yard. Yeah, yeah, you, I might, yeah, Ubeck's still bigger than Yard. He's got his, yeah, he's still bigger than Yard right now. Bigger than Yard. 
New Bucks on the Adrian Broner team. You don't know if he's going to win or lose, mate. Yeah, yeah. Having a bit, yeah, but um, Connor Brang's sponsored by Reebok. So, but actually, he's being sponsored by Adidas. is a huge break. It's actually a huge because Adidas sponsored the NBA and they sponsor a lot of things. So, that's, for Tunde to get that, that's a huge deal. Um, Tunde's done all the right things for his fight. He's got him, he's, 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 he's maxed his revenue, he's been on TV adverts and everything. So, but they just do things, you know. They don't really blow stuff. thing. You just see yard here, you see yard there, and you don't really think anything of it, you know. But so if he becomes world title, if they've if he, if you already seen him on adverts and stuff like that, if you becomes a world champion, how big a star will he be? You know what I'm saying they'll start breaking into that money. But in my opinion, people like Joshua Boatsy, if he was defend against Boatsy in his first defense, yo, whoo, just love it. That would be beautiful. If it were, hey, that would be beautiful. In my opinion, doesn't look like no one's gonna come in. So I've holded it down long enough. What's this? So I've got a bounce. I've got to meet some person. Meet some person. But I appreciate you guys in the chat. I appreciate all you guys, man. Make sure you guys kept carrying, liking, coming, keep subscribing. Um, I'm gonna probably put this up on my other channel, but I appreciate a boxing. Thanks. What's it, Frank? Sir, I uh, appreciate you. Ship biz, all you guys. Uh, Flowers and Cheeseman both overlooked our, our opponents. Yeah, they did, they did, they did, they did. Yeah, and they got punched up for it, man. <laughs> hey, but yeah, they did, man. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. You're welcome. Anytime, anytime. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay cool. Always achieve and reach for your goals. And um, things positive things will always happen when when you when you chase your goals and... and uh, and reach reach your potential. I'm EJ Botson Live and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.